Hi everyone, in this session I will explain a problem on half range cosine series. See the statement of the given problem. Express the function f of x is equal to pi minus x. Pi minus x is the given function as half range cosine series. Okay, we have to express this pi minus x as a cosine series only on the interval 0 to pi. Okay. So, given that f of x is equal to pi minus x on open interval 0, pi. Here, interval length is pi minus 0. So, you will get only off range expansions only. Okay. So, the required off range cosine series. is first write the formula for cosine series f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n into cos n x okay don't find out b n value here b n is known as sine term okay here we need the only cosine series expansion only that's why a naught and a n or cosine terms we have to find out this both values only okay take it equation number capital a here what is the formula for a naught 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x into dx this is the formula for a naught the concept of half range cosine series don't forget it so 2 by pi into integral 0 to pi what is f of x given function which is pi minus x all into dx so 2 by pi into what is the integration of pi dx pi x minus integration of x is x square by 2 integration is completed that's why we have to apply limits lower limit is 0 upper limit is pi 2 by pi into now whenever we have x apply the upper limit pi times of pi it would be pi square minus here also we have x replace it by upper limit pi so you will get pi square by 2 by applying lower limit pi times of 0 0 0 by 2 is 0 so every term becomes 0 by replacing lower limit 0 okay what is pi square minus pi square by 2 it would be pi square by 2 by taking the LCM to 2 pi square minus pi square it would be pi square pi square by 2 so we are observing that 1 2 getting cancelled pi pi getting cancelled so the value of a naught is pi but in the first part of the Fourier series half range cosine series first term is a naught by 2 so what is the a naught by 2 value it would be pi by 2 divide with the 2 on both sides now it is enough to find out the value of a n now the formula for a n is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x into cos n x. So, writing the formula of Euler coefficients are very very important in the case of off range expansions. Don't forget it. Okay. See. a n is equal to 2 by pi into integral 0 to pi. What is f of x? f of x is nothing but given function it would be pi minus x into cos n x dx so that implies a n is equal to 2 by pi into by using eyelet rule this is the algebraic term and this is the trigonometric term so in eyelet rule a is the first term so this is the u and this is the v so apply the extension by parts formula already in previous videos we discussed many times once look at that videos for getting uv rule so pi minus x is the similar term and the integration of v which is integration of cos and x you should write the integration should be in brackets only x coefficient should be right in the denominator okay minus derivative of the first term derivative of pi is constant it would be 0 0 minus 1 
derivative of x with respect to x is 1 that's why you are getting 0 minus 1 it would be minus 1 already minus is there so minus of minus plus 1 into integration of sin nx is minus cos nx by n square within the limits 0 to pi the next term is 0 that's why integration is completed with this part okay integration or derivative for the next term is 0 so integration is completed with this step we have to apply limits 0 to pi okay see a n is equal to 2 by pi whole into whenever we have x replace it by upper limit pi pi minus pi 0 0 into anything 0 plus into minus minus cos n pi what is cos n pi minus 1 whole power n directly i will replace cos n pi is equal to minus 1 whole power n here and already you know that sin n pi is 0 don't forget these values in solving integrations by n square minus apply the lower limit 0 okay pi minus 0 pi sin 0 is 0 0 into anything 0 now we have to write negative sign before applying the lower limit so minus into plus minus already another minus is there so you get minus here what is cos 0 oh here we have positive sign because before applying lower limit 0 we have to write negative sign already another negative is there so it is positive cos 0 is 1 1 by m square okay so be careful at the place of signs here an is equal to in denominators n square is the common term 2 by pi n square and write this first term 1 and this is negative of negative 1 whole power n this is the value of an okay finally substitute a naught by 2 an in capital a okay what is capital a formula of half range cosine series what is it f of x it would be given function pi minus x is equal to first term pi, pi by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity write a n value 2 by pi n square whole into 1 minus minus 1 whole power n into coefficient of a n don't forget to write this term in the product which is cos n x so that is equal to pi by 2 plus we are observing that 2 by pi is the constant term so right outside of the summation 2 by pi into summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square into 1 minus of minus 1 whole power n into cos n x so this is the required half range cosine series of given function pi minus x on the open interval 0 comma pi clearly we are observing that this expansion has only cosine terms and it does not has sine terms that's why this is called cosine series okay in the next video i will give some more examples on it thank you very much